It's taken two and a half years for confirmation, but on March 23rd, 2022, the Netflix Japan anime Twitter account confirmed that Kengen Ashura will return. The Kengen Annihilation Tournament. It's the face of the economic underworld of Japan. A battle to determine Japan's strongest corporation and fighter. They will strive for the ultimate position of authority. The mantle of Kengen Association President. 32 corporations and competitors aim for the top. Who is the strongest? Kengen Ashura is a Japanese manga series written by Sandrovich Yabako and illustrated by Daro Meon. The anime adaptation aired on Netflix in the summer of 2018, taking the audience's love from the very beginning. The plot is pretty simple and at the same time exciting. Kazuo Yamashita is an ordinary 56-year-old man who one day is summoned by the chairman of his company and hired as the manager of a gladiator. He learns that these hired gladiators engage in battles called Kengan matches to protect the corporate rights of the businesses they represent. Kazuo Yamashita is assigned to manage a mysterious Kengan fighter named Oma Tokito. Both men join the Kengan Annihilation Tournament with the hope of winning the spot as the chairman of the Kengan organization. The Kengan Association consists of illustrious business owners, large corporations and influential people. The one rich dude whose gladiator wins the tournament will become the new leader of everything. So these two guys begin their way through the tournament, Oma as a fighter and Yamashita as his manager. But his job turns out to be to do nothing and let Oma risk his life, which he obviously wants to do as he is the martial arts maniac. Oma is a rough yet well-meaning individual. He was initially rather arrogant, which often surfaced whenever he fought. During his fight he was condescending and often provoked his opponents. And the defining trait of Oma is his lust for battle, ever eager to fight against both who are strong. Despite this love for fighting, he will not fight those that refuse to fight him. That being said, he was also short-tempered and can be quite violent. After regaining his memories, he becomes more open and less arrogant to the point where he is capable of casually speaking with other fighters even. I really want to have your children. Mm -hmm. I knew at first glance, you're strong. My name's Karura, and I want you to be my husband! The first two parts of the anime adaptation showed us 16 fights of the first part of the tournament and two epic fights of round 2. This season ended with an epic fight, Tokita Oma against Q Ryan. With their fight beginning, Oma initially seemed to be taking advantage using the Nico style. However, Ryan's innate resilience lets him shrug off the damage and begin to overwhelm Oma. In a pinch, Oma resorted to using the advance, giving him back the advantage, and in response, Ryan used the removal to even things out. However, the advance ran out allowing Ryan to best him. Though things looked bleak, Kazuo realized that Ryan's stamina did not carry over after using his removal and screamed it out for Oma to hear, regaging his lost memories with the hallucination of uh, his master telling him that the Nika style belonged to him now, Oma returned to his feet and uh, using uh, the true strength uh, of the Nika style proceeded to defeat Ryan. After the battle, Oma lost consciousness and was hospitalized. 
And after that fight the season was ended and we waited for a f***ing long time. And finally after almost 4 years Netflix anime provided a tweet confirming that the new season of Ken Ganashira will be dropping at some point in September 2023. So be ready for an epic fight cause we still have 6 awesome fights in round 2, 4 fights in the quarterfinals, 2 in semifinals and an insanely heartbreaking final which will blow your mind. But there is more, if the audience will love the new season, it should be another part called Kangan Omega with more cool characters and insane fights. It also could be that the second part of the story will be divided into two parts, 12 episodes each like it was before in 2019 with the first part and like Netflix loves to do with our beloved anime. So it should be part 3 released in September 2023 with 12 episodes and part 4 with also 12 episodes or 12 episodes and one special which will give us some sneak peek on uh, Kengan Omega which will be released in December probably cause it was also a 3 month gap between the first and the second part in 2019. A real man shouldn't cry you know. Come on, let's go have a nice meal now. Personally, I am insanely hyped cause Ken Ganasher is one of the best martial arts series thanks to its cool fight and huge attention to small martial arts details. For me, Okubonaoya vs Keno Agito was one of the best performed fights with no superpowers in anime I've ever seen, a lot of real life techniques and everything. And it looked like some sort of UFC fight even. Well, uh, when I turn to leave, will you please not stab me in the back? I won't, just leave already. Overall, the series is great, a little CGI cringes hurts uh, the eyes sometimes, but not critical. I think animation will be at the same level and uh, there is no point in waiting that it to be changed and uh, they'll get rid of CGI completely. We have what we have, the series is still great and we'll wait for it till September 2023. Come on, let's make a baby right here! Put on some clothes, it's unsightly. Whose child are you? Also waiting for uh, some trailers to be released sooner or later. Subscribe for more news about Ken Ganashara or Bucky. Leave a like if this video was interesting to you. Thank you for watching and I see you soon. Bye. You're just fine, this is nothing. There's no way that's true. Fighting the way you did? Do you know how worried I was? Only the girls with their nails done now.